person. In the last class, we were doing the chapter number six. It's introducing spreadsheet. We discussed about the spreadsheets that how they are made up. And we also see that the Microsoft Excel is used to produce the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet, the sheet which is spread, okay? And it is used to calculate or make a budget or to analyze the number or to organize the data. It is faster than the calculator and can do more com complex calculations. So we can also show the data in the form of bar graph and pie charts. Right now we are working on the concept of the data organization that we are organizing the data. In the last class, I show you the example of the small database of four students and those students I show you the example of a four students th that is the sample data which I show you and type in front of you. Now this time on the same page number 44 the example is given at the end. The example is given at the end that's an example but if you see at the end of this page there is a one table. In that example there is one table what that table is saying the table below tells us how much my mother, mother, brother, father, friend, or whatever you want to write, you can write. So spent on fruit from January to June. So basically they want to calculate the money. They want to calculate the money on the fruits. So calculate how much she spent each month. So in the month of January, in the month of January, okay, the person purchased the apples of rupees. 300 and they purchase the banana of amount 100 then they purchase the apple in fab in 350 and they purchase the banana of 200 then they purchase 440 apple of amount 440 so they are this is the currency they are giving for the apples and this is the amount they are giving for bananas each month is different they are telling us that we have to find out, we have to find out what is the total of January, what is the total of February, what is the total of March and what is the total of April, May and June. So if we are going like this, if we are going like this, it will cost us a much time. It will cost us a much time. So I am going to switch my screen and we are again going to work the we are again going towards the MS Excel and we will see that we can make this table and find out the result in less than a one second. Okay, so let's move in towards the MS Excel. Wait for a while so that I can open the MS Excel and we can switch towards it. So now we are going to make that table of the book. We are going to make that table of the book. Why we are making? Because we are two things. We are practicing the Excel and also understanding it. So we have a table. In the table on the book 44, if you see in your book, the first thing, the first thing you have is a month. The first thing you have is a month. Then you have apples. Then you have apples. And then in the third column, you have bananas. Then in the fourth column, you have total. Okay. So this is the these are the column names which is written in your book okay so which is written in your book already now the first column in the months column in the months column if you see there is nothing written in it i wrote january then i wrote february february okay if you notice this thing we will write march april may june it will take much time so see it carefully what is going on right now see it carefully i will not type march april may june it will come automatically it will come automatically i just select january and february see i am not typing march april may i will not type anything i just select january and february and i move my mouse at the end of the february again see it my mouse is of white plus sign now i am moving it at the corner of the february it becomes the black plus sign then i press my my left mouse button and moving it downwards you can see i am pressing my left mouse button still and moving it so it's showing march april 
May and June. And I release my mouse. So all the months are there till June. For example, see it again. I just select the January and February and move my mouse at the corner. And I just press my left mouse button and start moving my mouse at the end. So see all the months are there till December. All the months are there till December just in a click. Just in a click, I got all the months. So in this way, we are getting all the months, whatever months we need. So June is there. For Apple, so see, now we have to type the data. This is the data. For data, we have to do the typing. Technically, it is called as a data entry. We are going to enter the data of Apple. So in January, the expenses is of 300. In February, the expenses of Apple is, is 350. Then we have 440. Then afterwards, we have 200. Then we have 100. After it, we have 250. Now, we enter the data for the apple. Now, it's time for banana. To enter the data for banana. So, we are entering the data of banana. It's 100. In the second month, in the month of Feb, it's 200. In the month of March, it's 250. Then, in April, we have 400 in the may we have 220 and then we have 310 in june so right now we are done we are done with the table so this table is done but we have to find the total yes let me take the name so arhan fadi mohammad these guys try to give the answer of all the calculations very good very good that's good but i am telling you the most easiest way I am telling you the most easiest way. What is the most easiest way to find out the total? So let's see it carefully. We are again applying some addition. For applying any formula, for addition, what do we use? We use the plus sign. 2 plus 2 is 4. What is the formula for addition? We use the plus sign. We use the plus sign. So there are so many ways to use the addition. First, we will go with the easy one. See, I write is equals to whenever, whenever we are using any calculation or formula, we have to write this sign is a equals. This is is equals to sign is equals to it's a equals to sign like plus minus multiplication and division. This is a is equals to sign. Now, when we write is equals to then I click there. Oh, it's F7. What is that? F7. Again, see it. I type is equals to. Then I click on 300 in the first price of the apple. It's showing F7. What it is. Okay. See what it is. This is the address of 300. This is the address. Now, what is the address? Let me show you one thing. What is the address of that thing? If you see, we discussed there are two things. Column and row. So we have a column and then we have the row. So for 300, the column name is F. Okay. And the row is 7. So the address, the address of that thing, the address of this 300 is, the address of this 300 is F7. Why the address is 300 F7? That because the address of 300, the column is F. And the row is 7. Let's see the next one. If we see the address of this 100. If we are going to see the address of this 100. What is the address of this 100? So we just have to check the column. The column is G. And the row is 7. So the address is G7. Now we just have to see the address directly. Without viewing. Without viewing this column and address so there is a place this is a place which tell us the address this is a address bar this is a address bar this address bar directly show us a result uh, sorry it directly shows us a address what address we have okay see this again for example we have i am going to click on the last value of zone like 250 i click here i click on 250 right now i clicked on the 250 and this address bar is showing me 
the result. 250 address is F12. Let's see. Let's see. Is it the address is the correct ones or not? So we are going to see the column name. What is the column name? The column name is F. The column name is F. Yes, it's F. So it's F. And what about the row? The row is providing here is the 12. So it's a F12. Column name and row number will make address of the block. We also see this thing. What do we call that small block? That small block is a cell. Is a cell. And cell is made up of by the combination of rows and columns. By the combination of rows and columns, it becomes blocks. And these blocks are called as the cell. So let me make it a boxes. So this time you are seeing all the lines clearly. So we are going to again write is equals to sign. Then we click on 300. So they are saying it's F7 plus. Then I click on this 100. So F7 plus G7. This formula is saying that whatever the value is written, whatever the value is written in the F7, add this value. So in F7, the 300 is written. Add 300, add the value of F7 with the G7. Whatever the values are written in those, just add it and show the result here. So what I'm going to do, I am just pressing the enter. And then I got the total. I got the total. And that's it. Now it will take only one second to get the answer of all the months. See, I am moving my mouse and I press my left mouse button two times. That's it. The total is there on the screen. See it again. The 400. We just found the 400. Now we have to find out the total of everything. We just move my mouse at the corner of the 400. And I press the left mouse button two times. I just double click it. And I found the total of every month. If they are 2000, if they are 5000, right now there are only six months. If they are 2000 months, if they are 5000 months, they can be done in one minute. For example, we have to type. We have to write the 1, 2, 3. We have to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Till 200. See, I select. I select it till 1 to 5. And we have to write the number till 100. It will take much time if we type. But see, I move my mouse at the corner. And now I am moving it. So, I am moving it and... I am reaching it till now. I reach 95. Less than 2 or 3 seconds. In a 2 or 3 seconds, I reach 95. For example, we have to go to 200. So, see this. Instead of 200, I reached at 500. Now, we are moving to 5000. Let's see. We are going towards the 5000 till we can write the 1, 2, 3, 4 till the 5000. If you see, I am talking and we are at 5865, this one. So it will take only 10 seconds to write from 1 to 5865. You can see the row. You can see the row number. We are also at the row number 5865. It will only take 10 seconds. But if we are going to type it, it will take much time to type. So MS Excel is faster. It's very faster. You can type the numbers easily. You can add the numbers easily. Okay. In a one click, you can add the number till thousands. We just add the number for six months. But we can add thousands of numbers at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> so did you guys understand that point for the months? Yes, sir. Understand. Yes, sir. I understand. Sir, understand. Yes, sir. That's nice. Yes, sir. That's nice. So that's nice. That's so nice of you. So we see the total. In a one second, we found out the total. We see the cell. We see the blocks. Block is just for understanding. For example, when someone is starting something, so we will say block because we know what block is. But now, now if someone is saying MS Excel, there is a block in it, it's false. There are cell in it it's a cell the spelling is c e w -L, l it's a cell it's just a cell one block is a cell now nobody will call it a block 
now onwards i will use the term cell i am using the block word to let you familiar with the word cell so in the first cell it's month in the second cell it's apple in the third cell it's a banana so if you see what is the address of this cell the address of january let's see the address of january what is the address of january i just click on the january and i am just seeing the address where is the address in the address bar they are telling us that the address of january is e7 how e is there and what is the row number it is 7 yes that's why they are telling us the address is e7 in this way we will find out the address of any cell we find out the address of any cell so everybody should write that in their book everybody should write the total of these in their book let me switch the book and then i will write it on the book so that everybody wrote that okay so we are going towards the book what is the book is saying so the area which you can see on the screen is a window and it is showing and it is showing in a and it is showing in a red box and it is showing in a red box if you see let's move it i am moving it downward so you see the table is become half may and june are showing but it's a half one but we can see the half table and we are also seeing the half numbers which we wrote but the area which we are seeing it's a window it's a window so as i told you we can't see all the rows and we can't see all the columns at the same time on our screen right now we are at the column q but if we see there are so many columns available on the right side and in the same way there are so many rows available if you see on the left side right now we are at the row number 2762 so we have so many rows and so many columns so we can just see one area at the same time for the excel this is window now we talked about the first thing with the help of excel with the help of excel we make spreadsheet with the help of excel we make spreadsheet with the help of ms excel we know what does ms means ms means microsoft it's m i c r o it's a microsoft excel let me write the spelling let me write the correct spelling it's a micro soft excel with the help of microsoft excel what do we do with the help of microsoft excel we basically make the spreadsheet we make the spreadsheet okay these spreadsheet are also called the worksheets why do we call it a worksheet because there is worksheet available there is worksheet available worksheet is like a pages we use notebook in the notebook we have pages in the notebook we have pages when we are using when we are using the microsoft word we make documents in that we have pages but in microsoft excel we have a worksheet the pages are called worksheet see here in the red arrow if you see my red arrow at the bottom there is a sheet 1 then sheet 2 sheet 3 they are these are like the pages page 1 page 2 page 3 page 4 so these are the worksheets which are available these are the worksheets which are available at the bottom you can make so many you can make so many worksheets by clicking here i click here sheet 4 sheet 5 sheet 6 sheet 7 how whatsoever sheets we have to add we can add in it so sheets are there we see the cells we see the window and now we see the worksheet so microsoft excel is used to make a spreadsheet the another name for this one is a worksheet again we are moving towards the book again we are moving towards the the red block which we draw in the last scenario of the excel it's a window so worksheet contains many rows and columns worksheet contains many rows and columns if you see there are some rows available on this page 45 so rows are there and column is also there 
we cannot see the entire spreadsheet on the screen why because there are so many rows and columns available and screen is small and excel is very much big in rows and column size however we can view and edit parts of it we can view any row row to number 2000 row number 400 row number 250 row number 1000 just by scrolling up and scrolling down and we can edit the part of the those cells how we can edit it we can just type the number or the name or the alphabet or the special character and we can change it if we mistakenly wrote the wrong spelling we can change it we can write the wrong number we can change it so we can edit it type it any part of the excel the portion of the worksheet that we see the portion of the worksheet that we see is called the window as i told you that red block in the last scenario that is a window we can move our window one from one place to another a spreadsheet consists of a grid of rows and columns so it's a grid as i told you there are so many rows and columns and these rows and columns make the cells these rows and columns make the block false these rows and columns make the cells it's true because the right term is cells right term is cells if someone is saying that why the term why using the correct terms is necessary someone is saying put the circles under my car no it's false put the wheels under my car that's a correct word because wheels are look like the circle if someone is saying my car is running on circles this is the wrong sentence my car is running on the wheels this is the correct sentence so cells are there block is the wrong one so spreadsheet consist of a grid of rows and columns rows are the horizontal division horizontal what is the horizontal position this one this one on the land on the land when you are making a graph on the land it's a horizontal position and columns are at the vertical position what is the vertical position this one this one okay this is a vertical position so for example we make a one rectangle we make one rectangle in this rectangle there are two sides horizontal and vertical horizontal and vertical so this one is the horizontal side which is on the land and this one is the vertical side which is upside so sky is a vertical one and our land is a horizontal one so everybody everybody of you understand that point yes sir understand yes sir yes sir understand. that's good so there is a assignment waiting for you in the class light there is a assignment waiting for you in the class light and the time of the period is finished we will meet in the next class inshallah so bye everyone have a nice day to all to 